Hi, my name is Danny Ramos, and I'm going to teach you the basics of the drums and how you play the drums. First off, we're going to start off with the chair and how you sit. You don't want to sit too high or too low, because then you'll work your top of your leg muscles. You don't want that to happen. Next thing is where your feet are on the pedals. You don't want to be too far up or you want to be too far back, because it doesn't play right. If you go, if you're playing on your kick and you go up too high, everything gets crunched up and you don't get good hits on the kick. And if you go too low, you you don't get you don't get good hits and enough hits. You don't get quick that quick rebound hits. You want to have it right in right in the middle on your balls of your feet. Not go don't go too high or too low. And the same thing goes for the hi hats. And the next thing is, I'm going to talk about how you hold a stick. You want to get a good balancing point with your stick, so and you don't want to have too firm of grip because then your forearms will get tired. You want to have the grip about, I use it first, so there's an American flag. I usually measure that with the American flag. It's about one third of the way up. And you always play, you always use a lot of your fingers because if you play with your arms a lot, you'll get really tired. You don't want to stroke the drum too hard or you want to stroke the drum too soft. You want to come in at it, you want to have good solid hits. If you stroke it too hard the whole time, you're, you're just going to get tired and, that, and it, it sounds right. You got to know how to play the dynamics the dynamics of the drums. What I mean by dynamics is when you play soft and you come in loud. You're building it up. You want to have good dynamics when you're playing. That You want to keep the drums connected with the bass and you want to keep it in the pocket. The pocket is the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. You always, most of the time you want to keep it in there. You want to connect with the bass the whole time. That, that's really the basic thing when you're playing somewhere. You always want to play with the bass player so it sounds real nice and it sounds real tight together. Another thing I want to talk about is the cymbals and how you play the cymbals. The cymbals make a lot of different sounds but it depends on how you play and like what kind of type of style you're playing. You can hit the top of the cymbal, makes that sound, or you can hit the edge of the cymbal. It's a louder, a louder sound. And another thing you can do on the right is you can hit the bell or just a cymbal. And it makes two different types of sounds. But you never want to hit your cymbal straight on, on the edge, because it'll mess up your cymbals and your sticks. You never want to mess up those. The next thing is, I'm going to talk about independence. And independence means no, when, with your hands and feet are playing separate things at one time. I struggled, I struggled with that a lot, and that's one of the main things that I had to learn as a drummer to become uh, very good. And um, one of the things was I would play over here, but I would have to keep a beat with my hi-hats at the same time. And I kept practicing that and practicing that, and I eventually got independence on um, my two separate feet and my hands. So now I'm getting better at that. There's still a lot of things I have to work at, that independence, but I'm getting better at that. And um, one of the things that goes, that goes along with the playing the drums and how you play the drums is what's, what kind of style you're playing. It can be jazz, gospel, rock, funk, anything that you're doing. You all apply the same, the same basics of it, but there's a certain, it's a different way that you play it. The, the uh, styles are a lot different. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, a little gospel, a gospel song. I'm going to show you how you play gospel. Hope you enjoy.
Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you learned uh, quite a few things about drumming and the basics of drumming. Thanks for watching.